morning guy no good evening guys i don't know why i say good morning i think i'm so used to starting the, the vlogs in the morning um i'm not vlogging today but i just wanted to show you my weekly food haul um as you guys know from my previous vlogs i'm kind of into like the blue zone diet thing at the moment and i'm trying to eat more plant-based where i can so um i'm just gonna show you guys what i got in the supermarket so we're starting off with something a little unhealthy because I don't want to go like full whack and just cut everything out because that's not how I cope. I will just end up like binging and giving in. So I've got that as a little treat. Got some milk just for like porridge, bacon, all that stuff. Cornflour, bacon. And then I wanted to try this because I love mango and passion fruit and I can't remember if I actually like this or not. So I've got that. Bacon for Bernard. And then I've got some honey Greek yogurt for myself to have with granola. Got some squash, mostly for Bernard, but I'll probably have it at some point as well. Some still strawberry water for Bernard, tomato puree. And then I've got like some different beans, um, well, two beans. <laughs> and some sweet corn, like these are for what I plan to do a recipe with. We needed some like ketchup. And then I wanted to try like puree, so I got that. And then I needed some more um, spices, so we've got that i've got some fruit got some apples because the, the fruit was very poor in asda so i had to get what i could i'm gonna try quinoa pearl barley i normally put that in like my casseroles but i was thinking i can just put it into stuff stocking up on some more pasta popcorn for bernard some tortillas for one of our meals cabbage for one of our meals some garlic cloves uh, tomatoes for our meals, sweet potatoes for meals, red onion, uh, normal onion and mushrooms, just they're handy to have, handy to have in the freezer. I do have a few things left over that I'm going to use, like I still got some sweet potatoes, the beetroots are part of one of my meals as well. I've got some rice, so I just kind of wanted to delve into it a bit more but use some stuff up that I've got. So like up here I've still got some pasta and that, I think I'm going to have tuna pasta tonight so my beetroot one I'll probably use up, um, fill this back up. Yeah, I just need to organize this a bit better, get rid of some bits and bobs. But that is what I've got. I will show you my Amazon delivery when that comes because I'm meal prepping, which is kind of the purpose or most of the purpose of this vlog. Um, I've got some glass containers that I can meal prep on Sunday with you guys, show you what I'm cooking, the recipes, all of that good stuff, so that I'm prepped for the week, so that I don't feel lazy and slack on the, like, diet. So, yes, I will see you guys in a bit. Ignore that, I don't actually know what that is, but I'm cleaning at the moment, um, and doing, like, tons of washing. All my meal prep ca containers came, but why did I order so many? I literally have so many, and I'm just scared now that I'm gonna, like, break or drop them and I was thinking to myself I have no way to store them if I'm not using them say I go on holiday where am I gonna put them I've got no cupboard space so um, I'm gonna give them all a wash tomorrow's meal prep so we will meal prep tomorrow this is what I currently look like I am gonna just clean do all the cleaning today and then hopefully me and Bernard will go out later and do something and then tomorrow I want to do shooting like filming content and stuff and then um, meal prep potentially go to the gym so yeah i have a lot to do so i will just pick up the vlog as and when hello guys so i wanted to show you some other purchases i got so as i showed you guys i got the mac studio foundation but i was trying to save buying this stuff until we went to westfield shepherd's bush which we're doing in a few weeks the sephora voucher was on like, online only so i picked up my trusty urban decay setting spray i just went for the travel size one because I'm not going to use it to the point where I'm going to use it all. And then I need a primer. So I'm trying a new primer, which is the milk one. So this is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. So I just wanted to show you guys them before I forgot and because I'm going to put them away now. But I got the travel size one because, again, I'm not going to use it, like, that much. But, yeah, I'm back into, like, makeup at the moment. So as you can see, I've got the new foundation, which I haven't tried yet. I'm hoping to try it tomorrow. So that will be in the next vlog. And I'll give you guys, like, a full rundown of like all the makeup how it looks and stuff like that so yeah they're the two new products i got i didn't show you my skims order so sprout picked up a couple bits as well which i can't show you guys because they're wrapped up and she's going to open them so the first one i got because i got a 15 percent discount code because one of my body suits the seams like coming apart and they won't return it and i've just missed the 90 day window or whatever but i love my long sleeve top but i thought it'd be good for me to have a short sleeved one this is the fits everybody i got it an extra large because my 2x i felt like was just a little bit long and baggy on the arm so i haven't actually tried the arm so it might not be that great but i'm hoping it's fine and then i got this bra in the sale because i love their bras and this color was 
kind of the only one in the sale in my size so i picked it up which i guess the color don't really matter too much because it will go under like a lot of stuff so i got this color and i got it in a 38 c so now i've got three different sizes i've got a 38 d a 38 c and a 36 c because i ordered the 36 in the wrong one and then i just wanted to show you guys some tiktok tiktok shop things um first of all actually i am doing a little collab with shaper x so i'm going to film that tomorrow but yeah it's just two of their body suits you can get them on amazon um, and i have wanted to try them before so i'm glad that, like they've reached out to me and that we're working together so i'm not gonna unbox them just yet because i need to do the vlog and i'm thinking potentially maybe just keep them how it is and open them on the tiktok um but i will hopefully try to remember to show you in my vlog tomorrow but i'm getting really bad at like forgetting stuff and then on tiktok shop as well if you're like a I don't know if you have to be like, you know, the business partner thingy or whatever. Um, I did actually plait my hair today because I was going to film content. I was going to film it today, um, but I'm just going to do it tomorrow. So I requested some free samples and I'm quite excited because again, I really wanted to try this. So this is from the Moose Lover. They literally went viral, like everyone and their mum's talking about them. Um, but I requested a free sample in their jumpsuit. So I got in a 2X. It's like a really thick, stretchy material. Again, haven't tried this on yet, but if I remember, I'm going to do it tomorrow um, in my next vlog. Just because I can't bother now, I've just like, put all my gym wear on and got myself sorted. So I got the black jumpsuit, 2X, so I'm excited to try that on. So I'll probably give you a little rundown in the next vlog. And then I also requested a bodysuit, which again, they're supposed to be like shaping ones, like everyone and their mum's loving them. But the jumpsuit, I think, is the one that's going viral at the moment. This one's like had its time. But again, I got a 2XL, just kind of going off of like the measurements. So it's exactly the same, stretchy material. I'm hoping it's not going to be, I'm hoping, well, I'm hoping the jumpsuit's not going to be sheer, but we will see. So yeah, again, I will give you a rundown tomorrow if I remember. I think that's all I wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to meal prep two of the meals that I'm going to do because I think I'll go gym around like midday. Um, although the weather's not that great and then I need to get some chicken gravy because I got in the queue yesterday and I remembered it and I was like mm, there's no way I'm getting out of this queue after I've just waited this long so I need to get some chicken gravy and I think I need another dumpling mix because I think I'll do dumplings with the chicken casserole and the beef casserole so I'm going to cook them later and also I'm waiting for the beef casserole to defrost but first up we're going to try two recipe well it's not two recipes from this book but two recipes from the blue zone kind of diet thing so i'm going to do stir fried cabbage and beets i love beetroot so i'm kind of excited to try something a little bit different and i don't actually know what they've got with it but i'm just going to put rice because as i mentioned i've got to use a few things up first and then i'll get some like rice and cook it properly next time that's depending if I even like this. And then I'm going to do sweet potato, quinoa, chilli. So it's kind of the same as what chilli <laughs> the sweet potato chilli I made the other day. There's a few less ingredients and like a few different ones in there. So yeah, that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to start off, I think, with the beetroot and cabbage because that's quick and easy. It says it's about 15 minutes. It serves four, but I have like four packs of beetroot in the fridge. I don't know why I've got so many. I think I stocked up and then when my mum says she had one or two in there. So I'm thinking I'm going to make like a big batch and just hope that I like it because I don't know actually know how much of this cabbage I'm going to use. So I've got white cabbage, but there's so many different types of carrot cabbage. I didn't know what to get. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to heat some oil in a pan. The only thing I don't like about this book is it does it in like US measurements, so like cups. And I'm pretty sure I have some somewhere, but I don't know where they are. I don't think they're in my baking stuff. Hello, you want to say hello to the vlog? you after what is the time it's not time to have a little treat yet so i'm converting it on google and just basically hoping for the best you put that in you heat that up and then we put some onion in for five minutes and then you basically add everything else which is the beetroot brown sugar black pepper garlic powder ground ginger ground sage and salt i've never had ground ginger or sage before so hoping for the best so i'm gonna put that in and then I'll show you when I'm shoving all the ingredients in. Okay, guys, so this is the current sitch. I've got all my beetroot and cabbage there. I probably made the cabbage too big, so I might chop that as I put it in. We've got the onions. Like, don't worry about the state of the kitchen because it's going to be fully cleaned after I've done this. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back and only make more of a mess. So I'm going to pop them in with the rest of the ingredients, as I said, and I'll show you, like, in the pan. I definitely went a bit overboard with it, but 
Look at the absolute mess I've made. This is what it's looking like. I think I definitely should have chopped up everything a bit smaller, but hopefully that's okay. I did think the cabbage was gonna shrink a bit. It's not smelling that great, guys, I'm not gonna lie. And for the best. I'm gonna try it, obviously, before I put it in, like my containers, but I will have it with like rice, or maybe I need to get like some flavored rice to have with it. Moment of truth, guys, am I gonna like it? I don't know why this smell puts me off. It does actually kind of remind me of a roast chicken smell, like when it's been seasoned. Okay, that bangs. Mmm. I think it helps because obviously the beetroot is quite sweet. And then you put some brown sugar in as well. So I don't know if that helps, but whatever it is, that is nice. Okay, I'm glad I like that because nothing is worse than trying a new dish, cooking it all. Although this is like easy to prep, I don't think anything would be worse than prepping it all and then like not liking it. So at least I know that I'm gonna like the next three dishes that I'm gonna make as well. Guys, I don't know what I was thinking doing it in this pot because I think I have to bloody cover it. So that's bloody great. My dad called, so that put me off. So I didn't even realize that I didn't even do the tomatoes. So I'm gonna quickly do that. But this is what it's looking like. So I cut up the sweet potato, put the quinoa in, kidney beans, red kidney beans, black beans, onions, We've got cumin, oregano, a bit of garlic, uh, tomato puree. What else did I put in there? Chili powder. That might be it. Yeah, it's not looking as good as what I had the other day. So, quickly do the tomatoes and I'll come back to you. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. So we're gonna leave that to cook for like 40 minutes. So the time is currently 11 o'clock. I'm thinking I will head to the gym soon, but I'm wondering whether to pair, prepare my casserole in its thing ready, but I'm not sure. I think I might just wait till I'm back because it'll be easier. So I need to put the first lot in the fridge, clear up this mess and get ready for when I'm coming back and doing my chicken and beef casserole. Just sliced some of my nail off as well. Um, I'll show you guys when the sweet potato chili is done, although that's gonna take like 40 minutes. So really I can't leave to go gym until that's cooked. I don't really have the motivation to go gym, but I need to take myself. I need to do a leg day and that while I can. Guys, I totally forgot to meal prep my snacks. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to now sort of like cleared up. Um, I'm just going to put some strawberries with some grapes in some of these and then I'll probably just have like one full of grapes because I feel like one of my biggest problems is like even though I'm working from home, like you just get so lazy, like I can't be bothered to make my fruit like and I'm sitting right there kind of thing if it's washed and cut and prepped already all I'll do is take it out of the fridge and eat it but I don't like it super cold so I'll just get it out in the morning leave it for a bit and then eat it so that I've got healthy snacks like on the go that is the fruit prepped I have a lot more than I thought so that's quite good so I will probably have one of these today but I've got six and hopefully they should last longer because they're in a airtight sealed glass container apparently fruit lasts longer in glass containers so we'll see. Chili's still cooking. Haven't got much longer to that's done. Maybe another like 10 minutes potentially, but I need to taste the, the potato and see what that's like. Cooked my rice. So we'll do an official taste test again. As I said, like the smell and stuff really puts me off. I'm not gonna lie. I did do quite a big portion size to be fair. I think there's one particular spice in here herbal spice it is really putting me off. I don't know if it's a sage. I'm glad that there's the cabbage for the crunch because everything else is quite soft. Okay guys, so no surprise that I obviously didn't bother filming the rest. I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, I went gym after that and then just came home and probably did nothing. I can't even remember because it was a while ago. Um, but yeah, I always get to film outros. I kind of just like mishmash all my vlogs together. I know it's not like the best format, I will try to be a bit better with it, um, but the next few vlogs are going to be like the same. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys. Bye.